Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So the Canton Cup is finished, and now we are in the session of Catch Cup. Catch Cup is well, I like to call it the Trash Cup because it is really just a way for Niantic to get us dump our startups in things that we don't really need. But we are going to try to have fun and. Practice your skills, um, build a Pokemon that you might need in the future, and get some nice rewards. Yesterday, I have released my video on the Catch Cup meta. If you think that Catch Cup meta is the same as Great League meta, you are sadly mistaken. And I have done my five sets of the day. I have only seen one Azumarill, and that is a big difference. So. If you want to check it out, which I highly recommend you to do, I'm going to put down a link right, right here, and you can, you are going, to, you are going to see what the catch up meta is all about and why is it different than the regular matchup. Um, today I am using Dragon uh, Whimscott and Crobat, so I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I build a team based on what is cheap. That's why I build for a Gobat instead of uh, I I build a Crobat instead of Gobat um, because it's a lot cheaper. I don't have to spend that much Stardust and leveling leveling up this thing. Uh, Whimscott is everywhere. You can find it very easily. Charmer is very easy to use, and with the Weather Boost, I barely spend any Stardust on that thing. And Dragon Knight is quite expensive, but I have a really good one for the Great League, and I have been trying to build a Dragon Knight for a while, so I decided to invest my Stardust in that thing. So one advice I have for you is, please do not be one of those people that oh I have a really good one tomorrow, but I'm going to build another one for this cup. There's there's no need. There's no Elo this season. Everybody's ranked ten already. Just have fun. If you have a really good Pokemon you have already, just don't use it. You know, build something else. Try something different. Have some fun with it. And wait till next season, when the rules are more regular and when there's not a, a garbage cup, and use our startups on that instead. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of my sets in the day. My team is not balanced at all. My team cannot survive anything like a Bomber Snow or a Lowland Sand Slash or Bastiodon or Stunfest. But I just want to show you guys a quick glimpse of what the meta is, so you can so you can get more prepared to to um do your own. Battle. So the team I'm using is. Um, Dragon, uh, Wimscott, and Crobat. So the idea is very simple, right? If I see a Charmer, I safe swap into my Charmer. All right, first match, my man is a Graveler. So I resist Electric, and Aqua Tail is very spammy as well. So I get to this Aqua Tail right away. And got one shield. I know I can survive this Rock Blast. It it does a decent chunk. They switch into Altaria, perfect. So I'm going to my into my Charmer right away. Because I was very slow on my swap, so I have to shield once for the sky attack. But I can completely charm down. Alright, so we one switch. And we we almost have a move on Wimscott. And Wimscott has a really good matchup with Graveler as well. Because I resist all the move from Graveler. And this grass knot is super effective, so I got a second shield, which is amazing. I decided to let this one go because it doesn't do that much. It it does a decent chunk. And they have S Cavalier in the back. So I was trying to aim for a move. I wasn't preparing for S Cavalier. I sent in my Dragonite to soak the energy. But I know um my Crobat in the back. Doesn't have to shoot anything from this as Cavalier. I mean, drill run, air slash, um, what's the what's the back move again? Mega Horror, everything is resisted. And uh, now I just have to get to a move to the Graveler. And that is uh, a very successful first game. Very interesting to see Graveler as Cavalier in this lead. 
the midnight eve. Weekly top, okay, charmer. I switch into my whims card right away. Um, and we have an electrovire. It might have flamethrower, but it is really fast, so I think it's an ice punch. Oh, actually, it's a wild charge. Uh, so they made a mistake right there because after wild charge, three charm away, it's gone. So I went back switch. Um, and they have obstacle. Obstacle is very popular at the moment because a lot of people have a, a Galarian zigzag from the reward of the battles. Right? It's too fast to be a gunk shot, so I know it's a nice slash. I can tank this one easily. And. Clefable's comeback, I don't get to move, which is pretty bad. But I have a Crowbat in the back. This is this is the part that Go-Bat is a better option, because Poison Fan is faster. But at this moment, I think I'm just going to air slash all the way down, because they have two shoe anyway. And that is a good game. Now, if you have the option, I would suggest a Go-Bat instead of Crowbat. Um, Gobat is a lot tankier than Crobat and faster. Alright, Perserker. This thing is weird. Um, I'm a little bit afraid of it because it might, it can have play rough and it generates energy really fast with Shadow Claw, but it is very glassy. I try to catch a close combat, but I don't. It's actually a full play, so that's pretty bad play from me. Um, I'm going to invest a shield and I want to air slash down. I don't know if I can. Um, no, I cannot. So I have to go down two shield in this one, which is not great. I have a charmer on my team, so I really want to get switch because if you land the charmer with the dragon, you don't need any, you don't need any shield. And they have a uh, Mar stop. Mars Stomp, I think that's the name. Um, uh, this should be a Surf, and I think it's going to take me out. Okay, but Wim's card has really good matchup with this one. I don't know why it came in with Dragonite. I think Dragonite at the moment is that weight. I just want to chip away as much as I can. Uh, I'm going to soak this energy. Uh, it could be... Okay, it's a Mob Bomb. And now I switch into my Wingscar right away, and they have a Dragonite in the back, so that's what I said. When you have a Charmer on your team, make sure to fight for the sweet advantage. Because if it match up perfectly with a Fighter or with a Dragon in the back, you don't need any shield. So it's worth investing your shield. And now I have a Grass Knot almost ready. I can take a move from uh, Marsh Top. Marsh Tomp. Marsh Tomp. So that is surprisingly a good game. This team has a lot of weakness, I'm not going to lie, so I'm not saying recommending this team. I just want to show you guys what's in the meta already, so you can prepare better. Okay, Scrafty. Um, it's pretty neutral. They switch right away. So I made a mistake of switching to my Wimps card. I should go into my Crowbat right away. Um, but I know I want to dump a move, so I guess switch. Um... Because Charm is going to do so much to Dragonair, and I won't be able to get to a, um, a Sludge Bomb before. So now we have... But that switch was really well deserved, because look at that, two Charm, and that Scraft is almost fainted. So I decided to come in with Crobat, because Air Slash is super effective, and I can tank uh, a full play, I can tank a Power Up Punch. I think it's too fast to be a full play, so I did not show this one. But they have a maintain in the back, okay. I was not prepared for maintain. It's so tanky, and they have two shield. I don't really think there's any win condition, and my clock is not... My clock is just ready. But I want to make sure I get to this shadow ball, just to chip away as much as I can. I know I have to I have to land the dragon pulse and this might as well be an ice beam. I have to shoot this one and I got baited and of course to get to ice beam right away. Um so I my, my only win condition was to call the bait on that one. But my opponent did really well, they charged up to the move that I was supposed to be afraid of. And that was a good game for them. 
Bingo 96. Obstacle. Okay. Again, it's a very neutral matchup. Uh, I don't want to invest an issue in this one because my Pokemon in the back have really good matchup against Obstacle. So I'm just going to chip away with Dragon Breath and um, Aqua Tail. It, it does decent. And I think at this moment, um, based on how fast Dragon Breath is chunking away its health, I feel like I can shield and charm a farm down, which I did. And there's a charmer coming back, it's fine, but I have Switch now, which is very important. We have a charmer. So now my Crobat is met with this Weekly Tough. And they switch right away into Raichu. And I resist everything from Raichu. Uh, I resist Electric Move, I resist the Break Break, I resist... I think they also have Charm, uh, they could have. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna charm away. I have a move for the weekly tough. I went for the moon blast for the potential attack drop, which I got that was amazing. Um, now I think okay, my my opponent decided to surrender. So that was a good game. So my first set is done. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I feel about the entire set. I don't have time to to go through all the photos, uh, all the footage for the video. I only saw one Azumaro this entire, this entire day, 25 matches, one Azumaro. I saw a lot of Ataria, I saw a lot of Skarmory, I saw way too many Chalmers, Wimscott everywhere, Wicked Tough everywhere, so be prepared for those as well. Um, later, I'll have another video about how my Wimscott is destroyed by all kinds of poison moves. Uh, so you can so you can have some fun, have some laugh, and also be prepared. Um, as always, if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.